My name is Patrick Campbell, originally from New York, uh, Long Island, born in the Bronx, raised in Brentwood. Um, graduated from St. Joseph's College in Long Island, got received my paralegal certificate from Stony Brook University. Been a paralegal for about 14 years. Um, I enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, there's a satisfaction in helping those who have uh, these financial stresses or burdens and the situations that each person um, comes into will vary. So the stories that I hear and the end result and the ability to help these individuals is why I've been doing this for 14 years. So I've been a paralegal for 14 years, um, straight out of college actually. Uh, before that I was administrative assistant. Um, and actually what started was that I was interested in becoming a lawyer, um, so I wanted to get my feet wet. So I decided to start working as a paralegal. Um, ever since then I just love what I'm doing. What's different here is the people. They're uh, very compassionate. I actually used to uh, freelance work for several law firms throughout the country. So by coming in here, dealing with this group of people, is, it's uh, the passion and the compassion that they have for individuals is different from what I'm seeing from other firms that I've worked at or, um, or I've seen, especially uh, with other people who ha have filed for bankruptcy and what they say about other firms. Um, the difference here is that it's not just us filing the cases. Um, we make you feel like you're a part of the team um, as you go through the process, and that's the one difference that I found working here. In a Chapter 13, it allows an individual or couple to catch up on any arrears for any secured debts that they have. So if they're behind on the mortgage, um, it allows them the opportunity to try to catch up on it while maintaining the ongoing mortgage. Um, if you're behind on your car payments, it does allow you to catch up on those arrears and keep those secured assets while doing a 13. Um, there's also some other reasons why someone may fall into a 13, whether it can be um, unprotected equity in any of the assets, which would make things difficult in a Chapter 7. Um, but overall, the 13 allows that person to become whole with their debts um, pertaining to the secured assets, a car or a mortgage. Difficult clients, I wouldn't, wouldn't actually consider them difficult. They're just very stressed. Um, but overall, yes, there are some difficult ones. Um, it's not about handling, it's more about listening to them and understanding where they are right now. Um, so it's understandable for them to be stressed and difficult going through this process. Um, but what I try to do is make sure that they fully understand what's going on, to um, understand step by step the process, so it's not just them giving us the documents and just doing the petition for them. It is a um, cohesion in which they truly understand from beginning to end how this process is working and how it's going to benefit them. When they um, get that awareness, they are, uh, their, their stresses and their concerns and their um, the worries and everything tends to diminish slowly. Um, so it's about being a bit more understanding of the circumstances. Oh, pass away. <laughs> um, because um, uh, my calm demeanor. Um, what ends up happening is that they do tend to give me the clients that are a bit more um, nervous than usual. So all I end up doing is just listening to them. Um, and it's sometimes all people need, need is just an air. Um, so I allow them the opportunity and space to vent all they want because it doesn't really bother me um, because I do understand what their circumstances are. Um, so you may get the, the loud, abrasive one. Um, so I just listen um, and then impart my own advice and we just get over that hurdle. You know, the, 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 the idea is to not focus on what got you here, but to get you out of where you are right now. Um, so what I, what I always try to do is just make sure that they know I hear them, um, but we got to move forward from that, from that point. But that's where Pastor came from.